Oh, this might be it that people were talking about. This might be it. What the fuck is this? These people were asking me if I'm gonna play this and I have no idea anything about it. Someone said in came PTSD. <laughs> right there. It's a little different. <laughs> That's pretty dope, actually. Okay, so that looks interesting. It's like what I'm thinking is this isn't like a Daisy. I don't think this is Daisy. I don't know anything about it, but for my guess, it's more like the forest where you play with a couple people and you just kind of survive. That's my guess. Unless it is multiplayer in a sense. I don't think it is. I think it's just like, yeah. Where the fuck I am. I think it's just like you you survive each night, you know. I'm pretty sure that's all this game is. Which is isn't a bad thing. It's interesting. It's kinda like the forest. <clears throat> but the cool thing about the forest, right? The forest has some sort of story. This just seems like you're literally surviving, which Fuck it, I guess that's kinda cool. I wonder if you could throw in a story. I doubt it. How would you throw in a story in something like this? Well, you probably could. Where the fuck I am? Interesting. Where the fuck I am? I always thought a game like this would be interesting when you do when you do a survival like survive each night. In a zombie game like this, I always thought it'd be interesting if, if when you played with other people to kind of add more to the surviving immersion, you didn't spawn with them. The map was pretty Where big, and then you choose you like you spawned in separate spots of the map, 
And then part of like your quest is to meet up with these people. And those people are your friends. So like they have to survive themselves for a little bit until you all meet up. That'd be kind of cool. Most games like this, you kind of just spawn with each other and that's it. And now you just survive. But I think it'd be cool for everyone to survive together like or separate and then eventually meet up.